What's up everybody? This is Mommy Wata. I am back with another channeled message. One second, let me wet my throat. One second. I hope everybody is doing good. Thank y'all for watching my videos. Ooh, I appreciate you, okay? Um, I heard this download and I just sat on it. It's one of those that I wasn't too sure I wanted to explore, okay? But I am being prompted by the Holy Spirit like it won't leave my mind, this particular download that I got. And what it was is that um, someone is energetically being stripped by another person. Um, this person has picked up on your energy, okay? They picked up on your energy a very long time ago. And I'm picking up on like around August or September of last year. This person picked up on your energy. Um, it's something about you that is very powerful. I don't think you even realize the type of energy that you transmute and how um, people are aware of the light that you can bring to their life, okay? But this person picked up on your energy. And ever since October of last year, this person has been harvesting your energy through the 5D. I feel like this person has been also doing some type of rituals or spell work on you, some type of sex magic. The person I'm picking up on is a masculine. He is very wealthy and affluent. And I feel like in this past year alone, he has built an empire off of your energy. That was exactly what I heard. He has built an empire off of your energy. Now, this wealthy, affluent man, this emperor energy that I'm picking up on, he got what he wanted from you energetically. So he's been trying to discard you I think you are aware of this person, person's um, pull on you in the 5D. I don't think this is someone that you are romantically involved with or have ever been. I feel like this is someone who knows of you. Y'all know of each other. You know that it's something up with this dude and your um, attraction to him. You feel the energetic pull. But it's not because of you or anything that you're doing. It's because your energy has been manipulated by this man. And I'm telling you, he has harvested your energy and he has come up in some major ways. I'm talking about a millionaire, okay? I'm not talking about nobody, you know, trying to do nothing for no chump change. All right? So this message is for somebody. There are celebrities, rappers, people like that who do pick up on the energy of these groupies, these so-called groupies, because I'm air quote and I know you can't see, but these women who want to be connected to these celebrities, these rappers, these superstars, a lot of these women are um, spiritual. A lot of these women have certain gifts and things that were implanted inside of them that they have not been able to tap into yet. But just because you can't see your gifts, just because you can't see your divinity, doesn't mean that someone else can't see it. And a lot of times they strip these girls' energy from him, them. They fuck them. They 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 come um they perform sex magic on them, a form of sex magic, and then they flying back home wherever they got to go at, okay? I'm just keeping it real with y'all. <laughs> I know, I be knowing, all right, it's a reason why I be saying that because I know what I be talking about. If I'm talking about it, I be knowing about it, okay? So, Holy Spirit, what would you like for us to know about this wealthy emperor who has been harvesting some um, feminine's energy? He has built an empire off of her energy. So what do you want us to know about that, Holy Spirit? What do you want us to learn from this? Um, what, what do you want to be revealed? That's, that's where I'm at. 
All right, let's go, y'all. Let me get right. Throw those shoulders back. Let's get it. Holy Spirit, what's the message here? What is the message here? Messages. We have the Nine of Cups. Mm. A wealthy person. We got the King of Swords and we got the Lovers, y'all. Mm. It cannot be made up. It cannot be made up. I, period. We got a King of Swords energy out here who is very wealthy, who does have a lot of abundance with this Nine of Cups. And he's also very um, stubborn. He's very frugal. He does not like to share his money like that. Um, he, he's giving me the Uncle Scrooge type of vibe that he wants to come up and will come up by any means necessary, no matter who he hurts, okay? And we have the lover's card out here. Like I said, this King of Swords has picked up on a feminine energy. He picked up on the feminine energy over a year ago. A possible, could have been somebody that was a possible love choice that maybe he was going to try to be romantic with. We have the Magician. I can't make it up that he planned on manipulating, that he did manipulate. I'm telling y'all, I picked up that this King of Swords Emperor Energy did some kind of magic, did some kind of energy harvesting spell on this lover, this potential love option. I don't think these people are romantically involved. We have the fool here. This King of Swords definitely took a major risk in whatever it was that he did. Whatever this, he, he did some kind of spell. I'm gonna tell you right now. He did some kind of spell, root, something he did. But whatever he did, it was very risky with this fool card here. He really took a chance when he did this, we have the Two of Cups. I feel like whoever this is, whose energy he's been stealing, this is somebody that he possibly did want to be in a Two of Cups relationship with. Excuse me, not relationship. Just he wanted to physically interact with this person, okay? Um, possibly get to know this person, be able to come together and fuse with this person. Not a relationship, but actually have physical interaction with them. I feel like that would have helped enhance what he was trying to do. What else, Holy Spirit? We have the strength card out here now. I want to look up something real quick. Please bear with me because I just got a download, but y'all know how I've been doing lately. I, I don't want to be on here fudging, okay? I want to be on here truly making sure that the message is accurate and what I'm saying is correct. I'm going to read the strength in reverse to y'all. Unable to acknowledge, suppressing, maintaining status quo. Ooh, I didn't mean, oh, okay, pause. Because I just said, let me read it to y'all in reverse. But the vibe that I'm getting from the strength card is very low vibing here. Okay? Um, strength at a high vibration is when you're trying to accept something. You're trying to be persistent. Um, you want to try to accommodate whatever the situation is the best that you can. But you feel like at some point you're going to have to give this up. You're going to have to get this fight up. And I do feel like that is where this King of Swords is currently at. Um, what, I, what I'm picking up on is this feminine energy has realized that this King of Swords has been energet energetically tying himself to her. And I think she's been doing some core cutting of her own. We have the Page of Swords in reverse. She realized that this King of Swords had been watching her pulling from her energy, keeping tabs on her, 
And I'm telling y'all, she has done some cord cutting of her own. She is starting to block this person out of her life in whatever way she can. And the Page of Swords in Reverse just gives me vibes like maybe she's blocked him on social media. We have the Four of Cups in Reverse now. <clears throat> this, this feminine energy knows that someone is doing something to her. Someone is trying to manipulate her in some way. With this Page of Swords in Reverse and this Four of Cups of, in Reverse, she knows that somebody has been doing something to her, has been trying to get her to, um, like, okay, look at the Four of Cups. This is what I just saw. If you look at the Four of Cups, as we know, this is somebody refusing to play along, not willing to accept something, yada, yada, yada. But it came out in reverse. And when I was looking at it upside down, it was almost like I was seeing somebody forcing this, feminine energy to like the spell that's being put on her she can't refuse it the harvesting that was done to her energy she can't um refuse it she can't deny it here she knows that someone has done something to her spiritually she knows that she has been manipulated spiritually with this two of pentacles she knows that she's been manipulated spiritually. This king of swords put some type of spell on a feminine energy to keep her bound to him so that he could harvest her spiritual gifts is what I'm picking up. When I say energy, I'm talking about her ability to manifest wealth, her spiritual gifts, her intu intuition, um, her light. This is literally what I'm picking up. This king of swords possibly collaborated with someone here because I don't think this was just him, you know, on his own. I really feel like he went to someone, some type of practitioner, some type of spiritualist and got what he needed. He definitely collaborated with someone to ensure that he would remain in, in the spotlight. I feel like this King of Swords career was not doing well. I, he still had money, but he was starting to fall off. That's what I'm picking up. He was starting to fall off. And this was around October of 2020. September, or actually it was either, I'm picking up somewhere between August and October of last year, okay? This particular wealthy man, this, I, I don't know why I want to keep saying celebrity, but this celebrity was falling off, okay? And he picked up on the energy of a feminine who may have possibly been somebody who put herself in his bird's eye view, so to speak. Maybe she's a fan. Maybe she, I was about to say, maybe she likes his music, Okay. I don't know where that came from, but I know I'm picking up on a celebrity who tapped into some type of fem feminine energy. I ain't going to say she was no groupie because, again, I don't see where these people were romantically involved. I feel like he could have been romantically involved with her, but he chose just to harvest her energy instead. And he's been doing that. And he is back in the so spotlight. He's back celebrating as a result of him keeping this feminine energy bound to him. Any final messages, Holy Spirit? Anything else you want us to know about this? How is this going to play out? Is this, who is this feminine energy? Are you going to show us who this is? How does she need to, we have the Eight of Pentacles here. This King of Swords energy here, this wealthy man, type of energy I'm picking up on. Again, he's coming out of at a, out as a king of swords and at a low vibration because he is doing some something very vindictive, something very cutthroat. Um I'm sure that he has had to lie or you know elaborate on what the truth is. No. 
I, I didn't mean to say that. I don't think he's had to lie about anything. I think that whoever he's been collaborating with, they know good and damn well what he's doing, what he wants, and he's paying them the money. So they're going to accept it with this Eight of Pentacles here. And they're going to do the work that he's, he's hired them to do. And that's to continue to keep this Nine of Pentacles energy stuck. She, if you look at this card, all you see is yellow. This is a light being, a light energy that this King of Swords has picked up on. She's coming out as a Nine of Pentacles because she is possibly somebody who does have a level of affluence to her. Um, she's beautiful. I feel like this person is one with nature. She's one of those type of um, hippie girls, okay? That's what I'm hearing. This is a hippie type energy. Um, and again, I feel like the only reason why she's coming out as a nine of pentacles and not some type of empress or queen energy is because she doesn't quite realize who she is yet. She's still learning her own gifts. That's why she is coming out as abundant because she started to tap into her own um this experience has caused her to start realizing some things about herself. And she's starting to tap into her spirituality. She's starting to realize that, you know, somebody was pulling on her. So she's starting to pull herself back, cutting cords. I mean, that's what I keep hearing. Um, not um, in a verbal way. Like she's been saying affirmations, like blocking people from her energy um, seen and unseen is what I'm hearing. Um, she doesn't know specifically for a fact that this King of Swords has been doing some root work on her, but she can feel it. And she's trying to come out of these bonds that he had had her placed in, okay? Any final messages? Any final messages? This was interesting here. What's going to happen with this King of Swords for doing this? We have Queen of Wands here. What's going to happen to this Queen King of Swords? This is the energy that this Nine of Pentacles is stepping into here. She is really learning that she is somebody special. She is somebody intuitive. That if somebody can build a whole empire off of her energy, then damn it, she must be pretty powerful. She must have a level of intuition and knowing to her. And that's when we when I see this black cat, that's what I I pick up on that she's really starting to tap into who she is and not allow anyone to steal from her energetically anymore. And also this black cat, he just looked like he had attention, like he is guarding her. Um, like he's her spirit animal. Okay. And black cats are good luck. Okay, so he, he, she's got her a black cat, okay, to help keep them negative energies away from her. Um, she's, she's tapping into her spirituality and she's starting to cut the cords from this King of Swords. I feel like he has still been trying to um, harvest her gifts, her spiritual gifts for his own benefit, but I don't feel like He's going to be able to do that for too much longer here. We have the Seven of Cups. Um, there are a lot of allusions to this King of Swords. Um, he has a lot of stuff going on that you wouldn't even believe. Um, he presents a certain image to of himself to the public, but I really feel like he is really deep into some type of spell work, root work, voodoo, um, some kind of ritual, sex, magic-ish thing, okay? And he's going to be facing judgment for what he, he's done to this Queen of Wands, Nine of Pentacles energy. God sees everything. You know, he may be up right now, but it's not stuck up there, okay? That's what I'm picking up on. This plot to try to take from someone, okay? to try to steal someone's energy to help your own life, to help you be successful, um, it always backfires, okay? Um, definitely a boomerang effect coming towards this King of Swords here. 
All right, this was different. I haven't done a reading like this before, but um, I am starting to pick up on more in-depth type of energies, more um, spiritual type of occurrences that are happening out here. So um, just bear with me. It's a message for somebody right here. It definitely is a message for someone. I hope this message helps someone. Um, and even if you're not going through this specifically, just be mindful about protecting your energy. People can pick up on your divinity, even if you don't think they can, even if you can't see your light and see how special you are. Other people do. Other people can see it and they will use you. They will take from you to have what they want, especially if they think that you're not aware of all this power that you possess. Okay, so y'all just be careful. Be careful about, I'm not going to say that, because if God wanted you to hide who you were spiritually, um, he probably, if God don't want you to hide, God doesn't want you to hide who you are spiritually. If you have spiritual gifts, if you're naturally inclined to know and see things, God wants you to use that. He wants you to use those gifts. And most likely, he's trying to urge you to use those gifts to serve him, okay? Because he gave them to you. So you don't have to hide who you are, but please stay protected. Please stay spiritually protected and don't allow anyone to tap into your energy and steal from you because this motherfucker done built a whole empire. I'm telling y'all, this king of swords stole this Queen of Wands, Nine of Pentacles energy and has built an entire empire off of this person. Okay? But I feel like that's going to stop before this year is over with. That's going to stop indefinitely. Okay? So if this doesn't apply, please let it fly. Please, please, please let it fly. Okay? Do not get in your feelings. Do not have no hissy fit, talking no shit, because you think I am calling you out, and this is your tea, stay out of my energy. If you don't want your tea spilled, stay out of my energy, okay? Yes, I'm talking like this because I'm tired. I can hear people. Every time I post a read, I hear specific voices, okay? So this is somebody who keeps coming back to my channel and getting mad at what they see. Stop coming to my channel if you don't like what you see. Okay, that's all I can tell you. Don't watch my video. Well, you can watch my video still if you want to. Thank you, honey, for the views. But why watch something just to talk shit about it? I don't get that. My energy, I don't got time for that. But anyway, okay. Thank y'all, though, for everybody who truly, truly, sincerely supports my channel. And I'll be back soon with another reading, y'all. Please be safe. Be safe. Stay safe. Holidays are coming up. Be safe. Watch your back. And I'll holler at y'all later. Peace.